Hello students, welcome to the online class of computer studies on behalf of Southern School affiliated to CISE New Delhi. Today our lesson is to discuss about the various categories of computers on the basis of the type of data and purpose. So at first the categories of computer based on type. Here type means the type of the data which is to be processed by the computer. Okay, so before uh, learning the categories of computer based on type, we need to learn about the type of data. There are two types of data. Number one is analog data. And number two is digital data. Okay, so we will learn at first analog data so I am giving the definition here you must note down the definition analog data okay so you will write the data that are represented in a physical way and are time varying in nature time varying and continuous in nature okay so everything that we see here is changed continuously this changeable continuous stream of data is actually analog data now two things you need to uh, remember about this definition one is time varying time varying data and continuous data so analog data are time varying data and continuous data so what is the meaning of these two time varying time varying means uh, the data that changes as the time changes okay so like suppose temperature consider temperature of a particular day so temperature of a particular day in the morning in the afternoon uh, in the evening in the night changes so temperature is an example of analog data okay and continuous in nature continuous in nature means continuous means infinite set of values infinite sets of values that means the values that are uncountable so if you consider uh, temperature of a particular day it may be 26 degrees Celsius it may be 26.1 degrees Celsius after some time it may be 26.3 degrees Celsius okay and uh, after some time it may be 34 degrees Celsius 34.1 degrees Celsius 36 degrees Celsius 40.2 degrees Celsius so you can see that the uh, temperature possesses infinite sets of values so we actually don't know what is the uh, last limit of the temperature it may be the data may be anything the value may be anything that's why you can say infinite sets of values so analog data possesses infinite sets of values okay like uh, so you can give some example of analog data as temperature sound also because the frequency of the sound does not remain same every time color there are a lot of color combination you already know okay so these are the examples of analog data now you will define what is analog computer okay so it will be very clear now analog computer so what will be the definition 
so you will write a computer that operates with which data analog data obviously analog data now this data represented by analog data represented by varying physical quantity varying means changeable varying physical quantities varying physical quantities such as voltage rotation okay like this and produces output and produces output after comparison in form of measurable quantities okay is known as analog computer so some example of analog computer very easy like thermometer thermometer is an example of analog computer because thermometer displays the temperature using a mercury level or needle isn't it another example of analog computer is speedometer speedometer is an analog computer because speedometer displays the speed of a vehicle by counting the number of rotations of wheel in an hour okay now we will learn digital data so what is digital data the data that are represented by binary number system the data that are represented by binary number system so binary number system is a type of number system where only two values are allowed that means one is binary one and binary one means true that is on on state okay and another one that is binary zero binary zero means false that is off state okay and this type of data are discrete in nature discrete discrete means not continuous discontinuous in nature okay so discrete in nature discrete means finite set of values finite sets of values because you can see in binary number system only two states one is one and another is off so it is finite okay not like uh, analog data that possesses infinite sets of values okay so here only one and zero binary one and binary zero which means on and off respectively okay so now we will write the definition of digital computer so from digital data digital digital computers so digital computers what will be the definition digital computer 
so a computer that operates with digital data obviously analog computers operate with analog data and digital computer operates with digital data digital data represented by represented by binary language system binary language system and produces output in terms of in terms of digits okay is known as digital computer some examples of digital computer the examples are very easy all personal computers all personal computers are digital computers calculator calculator is a digital computer or electronic cricket scoreboard electronic cricket scoreboard that you can see uh, in live matches in tv isn't it so electronic cricket scoreboards are also uh, an example of digital computers okay now we will discuss about hybrid computer and the definition is very easy you can see this word hybrid and from this word you can write the definition by your own okay so i can write a computer that consist of a computer that consist of the combined the combined features of both analog computers and digital computers isn't it and you can write these computers these computers produce results or outputs in form of measurable measurable quantities like analog computer isn't it quantities as well as in form of digits like digital computers okay so what will be the examples of uh, hybrid computers very popular example i can write nrdg watch nrdg watch like it is the combination of analog watch and digital watch okay so nrdg watch is a popular example of hybrid computer next electro cardiogram electro cardiogram machine electro cardiogram machine next is ultrasound machine ct scan machine so these are the examples of hybrid computer okay so we can conclude that on the basis of the type of data the computers are classified into 
three types one is analog computer second is digital computer and the third one is hybrid computer now on the basis of purpose or with respect to the nature of task to be processed by the computer the computers are classified into two types number one is general purpose computer and number two is special purpose computers so at first we will learn about we will learn general purpose computers so I'm writing general purpose computers so general purpose computer so you will write a computer that is designed that is designed to perform a variety of tasks is known as general purpose computer okay so in this type of computers same hardware can be used to execute different programs isn't it and with the help of these computers we can perform variety of tasks like watching videos playing games doing research work okay and uh, performing calculations etc so these computers are designed to perform variety of tasks that's why these are known as general purpose computers okay an example will be personal computers our personal computers are actually general purpose computers okay now special purpose computer the definition is a computer that is designed to perform that is designed to perform a specific not variety of task a specific task or application is known as special purpose computer okay they are also known as dedicated computers so they are also known as dedicated computers and what is the reason because with the help of these computers a single task can be performed repeatedly okay that's why uh, these computers are known as dedicated computers uh, means with the help of these computers you cannot watch movies you cannot play games okay so uh, you cannot perform calculation also and the normal calculation you cannot perform that's why they are dedicated computers so they are designed for a particular task for an example not one we can give many examples of special purpose computers so examples you can say the computers that are used for air air traffic control air traffic control the computer that is used for controlling traffic lights 
okay the computer that is used for satellite tracking the computer that is used for weather forecasting okay so these are all examples of these are the examples of special purpose computers or dedicated computers so the computer that is used for uh, satellite tracking will be used only for satellite tracking again and again the computer you cannot use for playing movies for uh, playing games okay weather forecasting only used for the purpose of weather forecasting not any other task so that's why these computers are known as dedicated computers also so that's all for now on the next day means in the next class i will discuss about uh, the types of computers or the categories of computers on the basis of size on the basis of size until then stay safe and goodbye